and this is Chris Siraga. I am at the Feather River at the Feather River Fish Hatchery today. I am just across from my favorite place. Let's see if we can get it in the picture. My favorite place, the Rock House, right back there somewhere. I've got a little sun in my face so I can't see as well as I normally can. And what you're looking at, it looks very tranquil in this little area, is 13,000 cubic feet of water passing by this location. Right now, the lake level is at 820 one ish right 21 22 821.84 if we're going to be exact uh, and the inflow is about 6,000 cubic feet a second so that is once again they're making headway remember that they're going to be um, they're shooting for what is it 770 feet above sea level total for that reservoir they're making some uh, fantastic progress. I watched some videos of them uh, chipping off that bottom spillway. They have most of it done except the dragon's teeth. That's what I call them, the diverters at the bottom. They are still, they are still there and a little bit of that ramp is there, but they are continuing to use explosives and various uh, earth shattering equipment in order to break that up and get that put somewhere. And I had a thought to my today matter of fact I was trying to figure out where they're putting that spoil that they're taking taking away so I'm gonna ask that question to a few of the people I know and see if we can get an answer to that anyway right out here I don't know if you can see it easily in this video there is a buoy that is just in the middle of the way I don't know where that came from if it came from uh, up near the diversion dam or not but it's just sitting in the middle of the river you can also see the uh, high water mark for the last spill it's right there that is from the uh, what is it third and final spill that they did that was I think it maxed out at about 30,000 cubic feet a second let me show you around a bit so we've got right there is the double bridge. This is the uh, newer side of the Thermolito Bridge here. That uh, on the other side, maybe you can see it if I angle this up a little bit. Now you can't, but there, the second part of the green bridge is on the other side of that. We also have right in that location, well, actually a little bit back, right over there is where the Boss Burger, one of Orville's favorite uh, hamburger spots is. And then we'll show you kind of pan you around this way as I said before the rock house and if we go up the river just a little ways just right around the bend where you can't see is the waterfall for the fish hatchery itself and uh, let's go back this way that way is also as I like to say the diversion dam then finally the uh, spillway itself and the reservoir and then all the other areas you know like the Bidwell Marina and all those kind of places up there so if we go back this way right down that way is Bedrock then Riverbend Park finally uh, Gridley Marysville Sacramento the Delta and all that stuff and me if I get in that water right there if I'm in that water I will be somewhere down near the Delta if because I don't swim very well as we all know so now I'm on the far side of the fish hatchery the main actual area of the fish hatchery um, if you look right over here go a little bit this way that's the fish hatchery waterfall that I've been around a bunch of times I actually really love that this place here and then to, just to reorient you a little bit right down there is the rock house and I just thought I would show that um, just let you guys know that the Orville fish hatchery is open for business it's very it's very calm here right now I do not believe that there's uh, many salmon running right now or anything which I just read a sign here that said that the fish hatchery actually handles 20% of all the uh, salmon that are uh, in this river right now the other 80% still spawn naturally in the river beside me so that is what I have for you guys today uh, if you, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to tell everybody about the YouTube channel. I'll be doing these videos every day. This is day 113. I've got a bunch more to show you. Got some great drone videos tomorrow and the next day of uh, various areas around Oroville. I've got Barbados coming up in two weeks right now. Uh, today is the second. I'll be leaving on the 13th. So I'll be showing you guys Barbados in all of its glory. Um, I've never been there. I'm going to show you uh, what Barbados is like for all of you guys, just as if you guys were the first time going there. It will be that way for me, so I'm going to try to show you all the sights and everything that we get to learn there. Really excited about get, bringing that to you guys. So make sure that you have a great day. Tomorrow and the next day are going to be some wonderful days for being outside. Please get outdoors. You can't really miss how 
uh, awesome it is around Orville right now. It, it's warm because it's getting to be summer, but it is amazing. There's some great places to swim, not so much in this river, right? We all know that's bad for, that's actually bad for all of us. But, and uh, like, like yesterday I showed you the fore bay, the after bay still going, the, um, I would say that it's probably okay to drip drop your toes in bedrock. You know, that's fairly protected. That's bedrock park down the way. Um, uh, any place above the dam, those are all still functioning just like they did before the crisis started. So make sure that you get out, have a great time, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. I hope you guys can all see this, but for me, right now the sun is glistening right off of the water down there just a beautiful and amazing. I hope you guys all get out to the uh, fish hatchery lookout and take a look at this.